EasyRobot.com Personal Robotics for everyone. Hey there, I'm DJ Shirts. Easy Builder allows you to telnet into um, a master copy of itself that's connected to your robot, or you can connect to Easy Builder from another copy of Easy Builder. Then you can chain multiple copies of Easy Builder together. So you can essentially have thousands of people controlling one single robot, all linked together, all controlling each other. It's kind of cool. So um, how to do that is go to your uh, connection control, and if you press the configure button, you're going to have a, a new option here. It's called server. When you select that, it's going to give you some checkboxes that you can turn servers on for different EZB boards. So if you have, you know, a couple boards you don't want to control through the server, you, you don't have to enable those. So you can enable server, and I'm going to demonstrate how to do it through Telnet first off. So the port I have it set for is 6666, which is fine. We'll just use that, and the script interface is checked off, and that means use the uh, the Telnet. Demon is really what it means. So you can essentially use Python or um, any other programming language to use easy script commands and control your, your robot remotely. So let's switch over to this computer here. What I'm going to do is go to run and assuming you already have uh, the Telnet client installed in Windows, I'm going to type in Telnet to the IP address which is one 10.0.0.103 and the port is 6666. And I know that because that's uh, what shows up on the other computer. Press connect and there we go. So now I have uh, connected to Easy Builder. You know, and there's the version and the TTY. TTY is the, uh, the terminal you're connected to. You can have up to thousands of terminals and each terminal is given a unique identifier. I'll show you how you can actually see who's connected to your computer in a second. Um, now that you're connected, you can type in help, for example, and get all of the script command help, or you can just start typing commands right away. So to move Cookie Monster's head, I can type in servo d7 and I can move his head into position 20. So to do that, I can now press enter, and as you can see his head just moved. Under utilities, you can select TCP client list. That will show you any connections that are established to allow another instance of Easy Builder to control this instance, select your configure button on your control for connections and disable the script interface box. What that's going to do is prevent the script interface from actually executing and limit the connections to another copy of Easy Builder. I am going to load a duplicate copy of the project on here. It doesn't have to be a duplicate, but this is going to make it easier for what we're demonstrating and rather than in typing in the communication port in here I'm going to type in the IP address of the computer we, computer we want to connect to. So it's 10.0.0.103 and the port is 6666. Now when I push the connect button I've just connected to the other instance of Easy Builder. You can see here even the information is being broadcast back and forth. So when I move this here it's actually sending that information to the other version of Easy Builder. The other copy of Easy Builder is actually controlling Cookie Monster. So you can see the information has been updated on both machines, even though the two machines aren't both directly connected to the EZB. So this one here is connected to the EZB, this one here is connected to this one, and the robot's being controlled. So you're not limited to having one person use a robot at a time. For example, you can build yourself a more complicated robot with arms, with moving elbows and shoulders, and an advanced head that has a bunch of different pieces to it. And you can have a classroom full of students or a bunch of people working remotely in a room or even over the internet, and they can all connect to a single robot. So each group of people or each version of Easy Builder can take a responsibility of a different part of a robot. For example, in a school environment, you can have part of the students, one group doing robot arms, the other student doing, or another group of students doing robot heads, another student, uh, group of students doing the actual movement. And they can all be working on the robot at the exact same time without having to uh, share the resources and wait for people just to, to finish what they're doing. Everyone can take control of the robot.